<laughs> Most of the time, we're catching halibut in pretty oh, yeah. deep water. Oh, yeah. Two to 300 feet or more isn't uncommon. But today, the boys are finding them on a shallow flat less than 30 feet deep. What are halibut doing in shallow water? Napa Auto Parts is proud to present Napa's Inside Alaska. Everybody knows that salmon migrate to spawn, but what isn't widely known is that halibut also follow complex migration patterns. And because halibut are fairly difficult to study, there's some debate about how the migration really works. Most experts agree that Pacific halibut spawn from November to March, near the edge of the continental shelf, in waters up to 1,500 feet deep. Females lay two to three million eggs a season, depending on their size. The parents then return to shallower water to feed for the rest of the year. The eggs hatch into larvae and are swept west and north by ocean currents to the Aleutians and up into the Bering Sea. The juveniles seem to stay in this area for at least two years. Then it appears that many begin to migrate back toward the Gulf of Alaska where they reach maturity and live out the rest of their lives migrating annually between deep and shallow water of the Gulf of Alaska. But the details are sketchy. Some tagged halibut have been documented to travel from the Aleutians, 2,000 miles south to the coast of Oregon. Some gigantic halibut appear to stay in the Bering Sea and follow only small, localized migrations. There's obviously much more for us to learn, but one thing's for sure, the halibut in this shallow water are here to eat. Oh, oh he's going for the chip bag. That's a little better one there. Yeah. yeah. 